talk about something that you're manufacturing for the engine. What's that? Um, there's uh, two different ways you can uh, perform carb heat on, on, a, on an aircraft engine. One is for, for air-cooled engines, you pretty much have to do a heat muff uh, or an electrically heated carb body. Um, but uh, if you've got an, a liquid-cooled engine like the Rotax 912, then you can um, you can use engine coolant to heat the carb body. And so uh, a company over in the UK called uh, SkyDrive manufactured uh, a unit that would attach to the carburetor and heat the carburetor body, and therefore not allow any carb ice to build up inside the body. So, um, we have uh, Fisher Flying Products has purchased the assets of SkyDrive and we've renamed this unit called, we're going to call it the Cozy Carb. So it's basically a, a small unit that uh, gets press fit. You take your carburetor off and you press fit this aluminum casting onto the flange of the carburetor and then the aluminum casting has an identical flange as the carburetor and it just basically goes back into the rubber mount. On the uh, on the intake, and so uh, a very simple amount of plumbing. You tie into one of the one of the hose lines for the uh, the supply, and then there's a return line down below that goes into a different line. So and that, just that's gets, for the uh, cooling for the radiator. Cooling. Yeah, it just get. Now, if I get this, does it come as a kit or? Yes, it comes as a complete installation kit with very thorough instructions, and it takes about between an hour and a half and two hours to install. Okay. Now, once it's installed, how does it actually operate then? Like, do I have to turn it on, turn it off? The beauty of this system is that there's no pilot interaction whatsoever. It is an always-on system. You never have to remember to turn it on or never have to remember to turn it off. And it has zero impact on the performance of the engine. Because it only heats the carburetor body, it doesn't heat the intake air, and therefore you don't have a volumetric efficiency loss because of warmer air in the intake. Now, this, to my knowledge, is required for amateur-built aircraft in Canada. Yes, that's that's true. So um, uh, it's a, it's a requirement, and, and therefore um, uh, we have the perfect solution for that requirement. No jetting change. There's no nothing. air filter. Nothing like that. Absolutely, applies. nothing is done to the carburetor besides taking it off of the unit, and it moves the carburetor back about 10 millimeters. Okay, so that's another consideration then it, that right. the carburetor will be. Right. When you're comparing it to the installation of, of a, a, a heat a heated air that goes off the exhaust muff or or some of the other alternatives, this provide. There's no change in the in the plan form. There's no cowl change. There's no intake change. And this will also work on the Rotax 582 then? Correct. There's units for both the 912 and the 582. So how long has this unit actually been on the market then? Um, this has been on the market for over 10 years and we think that there's probably about 500 installations worldwide. So it's a well-proven system, and it's not oh, something yes. that you're just introducing to the market. Yes, yeah, so and, and the beauty of it is, is that it really doesn't um, uh, it doesn't change anything within the engine uh, at all when, on the installation, except for the fact that you move the carburetors back about 10 millimeters, and there's clearance for that. Okay, okay so if somebody wanted to get an order in uh, for one of these, what's the best way to do it? Um, keep keep an eye out for the Fisher Flying Products website store. We'll have it listed there probably first, and I'll be making an announcement on the Fisher Flying Products um, uh, YouTube channel. Uh, and so, if you want to find that, you just go to uh, YouTube and search Fisher Flying Products channel. And where do we find uh, Fisher Flying Products on the web? Um, www.fisherflying.com. Okay. And do you have a phone number for somebody who wanted to just give you a call and talk to you about it? Sure, 519-933-2055 and ask for Dave. Thank you very much for your time. I'm quickly going to go through the 10 questions I have with regards to Cozy Carb. I know I've talked uh, fairly frequently on uh, recent videos about it, but uh, we've been doing a lot of work to get this product ready and uh, ready to go out the door from printing labels to sourcing boxes to you know um, uh, working with the physical products uh, ordering in fittings and and making sure that all the hardware kit is put together all the tubing and hoses and and whatnot so that uh, when you go to put this on your engine you don't you know you don't have any issues uh, and we, we went through all of the all of the instructions that we received from the UK from the previous company SkyDrive 
guys that we bought the system from. Uh, we'd clean things up so that uh, uh, from from their instructions a little bit. And uh, so anyway, it's it's ready to go. Uh, we we're really pleased. Uh, we've gotten already a number of early orders from uh, uh, people and, and companies that already uh, already that supported it in the past. Um, it's going to be available through Lockwood. It's going to be available through um, uh, Aircraft Spruce and uh, California Power Systems. And um, and so we've got oh also Rotec up in Canada, uh, out west in BC they're going to be handling it as well. So you'll be able to find the parts um, and, and these kits uh, uh, through all of these other distributors, and you can buy them as well directly from from the website. So and now on to the ten most asked questions about Cozy Carb. So what engines can it be installed on? We have two different types of kits. One is for a nine twelve four-stroke based four-cylinder engine and one is a two-stroke two-cylinder Rotax engine and a couple of different variants thereof. Uh, do you need to have an on-off valve? This is a good question. No. Um, this system is designed to run continuous in a continuous loop. There's no turning it on and don't turning it off. There's no remembering to turn it on or turn it off. So it's always there for you. And as compared to air-based systems that heat up the air and take charge, our system doesn't heat the air and take charge. It just heats the carburetor body so that any moisture can't stick to it. So you don't lose any power with this system being on all the time. Do you have to change the cowl? This is a really good que question. Some uh, 912 setups especially are quite, towel, uh, quite packed into the cowl. And... Uh, there's just not a lot of room for anything else in there and we find that um, with the offset of the carburetor aft by about 17 millimeters there's usually enough room in and around the cone shaped air filters to be able to push the carb back just slightly and, and install our system and from there it's basically tubing um, and the tubing can be routed around current uh, your current systems or through through the engine um, and it doesn't uh, it doesn't add any bulk to the engine and so therefore you can use your existing cowl no problem. Uh, how long does it take to install? About you know a couple of hours in the afternoon. Uh, I, I installed the, our first kit on uh, Lionel's G1 and um, took my time with it and it was just a you know an, an afternoon two or three hours and I had it all done and bled. Uh, you have to drain the coolant out of a working engine um, to be able to install this and so you have to then go back through the procedure refilling it and that's the most difficult part really is getting the the coolant back in and then making sure that it's bled through the system that all the hose lines are filled with coolant um, does it affect performance again no it doesn't affect performance um, because again we're just heating uh, the car body and not the intake charge it does not change the performance of your engine so you can again run it all the time um, can I install it? Yes, the, we have full set of instructions. It's a step-by-step, -step, uh, takes you right through it. I'd never installed one before, and the first time I did it, I, I got it right. It was not that difficult. Um, the instructions are clear and easy to read. Um, can it be installed on certified engines? No, um, not without, uh, uh, no, basically. Uh, this is a, for a non-certified uh, uh, installation. Now, some people say, well, isn't this the part that's available from Lockwood? Well, yes, it is, because they used to carry the SkyDrive's part, and so now they've been contacted that the uh, uh, the Cozy Carbs are back in production, and so they're, they're relisting. Um, can you remove it from the carburetor later? Um, with great difficulty. Uh, this uh, car Cozy Carb and the carburetor are designed to be an interference fit, and so they have to be squeezed together with a press or in a vise. Uh, there's a procedure for this. It's well, 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 well documented. But once you put that on, and then you you actually fill uh, a small hole with with Loctite to make a, a complete seal, uh, so you can't be sucking air in or around um, the, where these two parts come together. So no, it, they don't come apart very easily at all. Uh, and where can I buy one? Uh, you can buy one, like I said, through Lockwood, through uh, Aircraft Spruce, California Power Systems, and, um, and Rotec in Canada, as well as our website, www.cozycarb.com. So there's the 10 questions for Cozy Carb.